up my beautiful friends my name is Kristen and I am eating fried eggs with salt and pepper and turmeric on a piece of sourdough bread I just dyed my hair pink I'm living in an a-frame I just deranked a silver three in this episode two of Valorant and I decided that I'm gonna start vlogging for you because I'm doing some pretty cool things and I would love for you guys to be a part of it and we can share our lives and love each other forever and ever. My intention is to show you the way that I live to see if maybe there's some things that you would like to do in your own life. Maybe I'll brush off on you or maybe I won't. Maybe this will just be a word of caution on how not to be a silver three. <laughs> Got Larry, some celery juice and a view of the ocean. Morning. To do right now is get out of my way okay I need to get out of my way I've been getting in my way for too long it is time for me to stop overthinking stop researching stop needing to have a perfect plan I am just going to start creating content so here with Yuri there she is we're sitting at the beach we went for a walk and I'm just gonna start vlogging so welcome guys it's great to see you happy to have you I've actually gotten a lot done today. I gotta get better at this vlogging thing. Like I'm forgetting to show you guys the B-roll, if you will, but I spent the last while burning through Arabic on Duolingo. I'm, at, I'm about halfway through. I think there's five total and I'm at the end of three. It's pretty cool. And then I've also been looking up like the best things to learn if you want to learn a language quickly, all about which regular verbs to re learn, which regular verbs to win, which nouns to learn, which greetings to learn. So I'm really excited. And I'm kind of wondering like if I spend, you know, two or three months every day doing this, like where it will take me. So I'm pretty excited about that, to be honest. And so my whole logic here is I've been playing a lot of video games in my life 
and one of my favorite things to do in a video game is level up my skills, obviously. And it's just so crazy to me that this whole time there's things in life that if I level it up, I get to unlock literally new worlds. In the case of Arabic, whole new world of people that I wouldn't have normally been able to engage with and get to know or take advice from or whatever it is. So this to me just seems really, really fun. Whether it's language or a new instrument, traveling to a new place. So I'm really focusing on replacing when I'm gaming with stuff like Duolingo where you still feel like you're gaming because they've designed their programs really well, but I'm gaining a skill that I can now take into my real world and treat my character now, Kristen, as my avatar. So I'm, I'm upgrading her, guys. I'm upgrading her. And I was feeling antsy. So of course, when you're feeling a little antsy, the solution is to make an iced coffee. It's delicious. I put macadamia milk in it and some maple syrup. my makeup off we are headed to hot yoga i don't think i've done hot yoga since covid have you no i haven't it's yeah, been like 18 months so our first time back to yoga pretty excited i still had passes thankfully and they didn't expire so we're using them <laughs> okay that was tough i cannot believe i just made it through that class i realized at the beginning of the class i was like maybe this isn't a good idea because i gave blood two days ago so i'm like a whole leader down and i'm doing a hot yoga class hot yoga fitness class so i kept thinking i was gonna hit my limit but then i was just breathing through my nose because i read the book breathe and i've only been breathing through my nose now in life and it's actually made a huge difference on my energy and strength somehow so yeah i look i look like a potato i'm gonna just not talk for a bit rest <laughs> Acupuncture appointment today. Got my new hundred thieves hoodie on. Coffee in the morning. Just finished my acupuncture. So I'm going to acupuncture for decreasing um, yang energy in the body. Um, if you find yourself as a woman <laughs> thinking too much, finding yourself wanting to be controlling of multiple situations, too much heat, too much yang energy in your body. I'm trying to cultivate more yin. So far, my acupuncture's really been working and I have a couple Chinese herbs too. It's also if you're a woman and you get like hormonal acne around your mouth, I'm just working towards balancing all those hormones out. Um, and I'm doing it through herbal medicine, meditation, releasing control, and then also acupuncture. I think it's important 
whenever there's something going on in your body to remember that it's all integrative. Hi, my beautiful friends. I think I threw my neck out dancing last night. I, I like danced probably for two and a half of the four hours that I was at that party and sober. Like I just feel so, I don't know, this might not be like a big deal to you guys, but so much of my younger life, like I was so nervous to dance in front of people and especially not be the first person dancing and especially not be the person that's starting the dance party and not doing it sober. So I would use alcohol as a way to like lower my inhibitions so that I could embody the person that I wanted to be at the party. But I didn't have any alcohol and I was out there dancing, starting the dance party and it was so fun and I had a great time. So just wanted to share that, you know, this is a vlog. But if you guys are thinking about dancing, just do it. Okay, start with it. Just like close the door, put music on by yourself and start dancing just move your body you know at least a couple songs you know four or five songs if you're feeling really good it's also a great workout <laughs> i love not doing like traditional workouts and instead doing workouts that are more of like fun and playful and things like that so dancing's a great way to work out and just like be intuitive and feel into your body um but yeah i'm back in bed and my neck is out um also the acupuncture girl that i've been going to i don't think i'm going to go back to her because this is my third time i've gone to her now and i'm feeling like very tired after whereas when i was getting acupuncture in austin texas my girl there who's also named kristen she was so great and i came out of it feeling so energetic and then also felt like my symptoms of like my overthinking um and just want desire to just do when i actually need to be resting more uh it helped with those things better so um i think i'm gonna go to a new girl and then today Ava's still here. Uh, she stayed with me last night so she could go to the Tone of Thieves party. Um, and she leaves in about an hour. So I think we're gonna hang out for a bit. And then we've got um, one of our friends, Cooper's birthday tonight. And then a dinner with some of Luke's friends. So I got a lot to do a lot today, but I just could really go for getting back into bed. I was reading Osho tarot cards. I'm actually gonna pull one for you guys right now um, and journaling and drinking turmeric tea. Um, this is my Organite that my best friend Lace made me for my birthday. I haven't showed you guys that. Oh, and for all the girls out there that aren't, are over 25, maybe even a little bit younger, I have to show you this. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's this silicon pad and you put it on your chest. I've gotten so much sun on my chest growing up. This like makes it so your skin won't wrinkle when you, cause I sleep on my side. I like to sleep in a little ball on the edge of the bed. This stops your skin from wrinkling. Cause I noticed that I was waking up. This only just happened in the last year, I think, cause I turned 29, I'm getting older. And so my skin would crease when I was sleeping and then it would take a longer time to like decrease throughout the day. So I bought these and I've been using them. And so I don't have any chest wrinkles anymore. And I think I'm just gonna like be a silicone pad wear for the rest of my life now because I like, I like swear by these now. And I thought I would share that. It's like a very niche product. I think there's gonna be like 10, 10 girls who watch this who are like, oh my God, that's genius. I need that. So if you're one of those girls, like reach out to me in DMs or in the comments because we're probably at similar stages in our lives right now and I want to be your friend. I know a lot of people like watching my vlogs because they get a peek into my life and obviously I fill you with positivity. Like you guys are just overfloweth with positivity when you watch my video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's my hope. Okay. Oh, flew out. Ooh, this is the card for you guys today. Yow. So I love this deck, Osho Zen Tarot. It's like all quite positive and it's all based in Zen. It's just really nice. It's a good reminder. All these cards are good reminders to live more in Zen. So I'm gonna read this to you guys. This card recalls an old Zen story about a lion who was brought up by sheep and who thought he was a sheep until an old lion captured him and took him to a pond where he showed him his own reflection. Many of us are like this lion. The image we have of ourselves comes not from our own direct experience, but from the opinions of others. 
A personality imposed from the outside replaces the individuality that could have grown from within. We become just another sheep in the herd, unable to move freely and unconscious of our own true identity. It's time to take a look at your own reflection in the pond and make a move to break out of whatever you've been conditioned by others to believe about yourself. Dance, run, jog, do gibberish, whatever is needed to wake up the sleeping lion within. Unless you drop your personality, you will not be able to find your individuality. Individuality is given by existence. Personality is imposed by society. Personality is social convenience. Society cannot tolerate individuality because individuality will not follow like a sheep. Individuality has the quality of the lion and the lion moves alone. The sheep are always in the crowd, hoping that being in the crowd will feel cozy. Being in the crowd, one feels protected, secure. If somebody attacks, there's every possibility in a crowd to save yourself. But alone, only the lions move alone. And every one of you is born a lion, but the society goes on conditioning you, programming your mind as a sheep. It gives you a personality, a cozy personality, nice, very convenient, very obedient. Society wants slaves, not people who are absolutely dedicated to freedom. Society wants slaves because all the vested interests want obedience. Also another quote that I like, um, which is kind of related is, the sheep with the sheep herder are always told to fear the lions or fear the wolves. Um, but in reality, it's the shepherd that kills them. So, you know, enough deep thinking for today, guys. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. But yeah, if you guys just enjoyed the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below what else you'd like me to film in my life or any topics you want me to talk about, any questions you have problems you want me to solve. I'm a pretty good problem solver. I'll do my best to help you with anything you're going through. I'm just here to serve the world and help people live in more alignment with their true selves. That's why I think that uh, conditioning card coming up for you guys is perfect because that's my goal is waking you up to your true self uh, so you can thrive um, and live your best life. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing amazing day and I will see you on the next video.